This is the mobile bike kitchen. Um, the purpose of this, I built this back in August. Um, the purpose is really to kind of take my mobile bike kitchen program to the next level. Um, but it's also uh, something I'm working on is a way to get bikes and bike maintenance into schools as part of a STEM program. So that's going to be something I'm going to be working on this winter. Again, hopefully this is useful. Um, just to kind of show you what is possible, what you can do with the trailer. I've been dreaming of this for about two years and I couldn't really find any examples so i just made all this up based on my previous experience of you know hauling things and working on bikes in a kind of mobile situation already and you know still kind of trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work so here you go hopefully that inspires somebody um so this is the way it's kind of separated i have two workstations in the actual trailer itself and everything is color coded see i just um transported this over here so it's in transport mode even though this thing is bolted to the wall that's used so the drawers don't come uh sliding out so this station the red station is mainly for working on brakes so everything's color coded and labeled accordingly shouldn't be any questions on where things are and how to find things um your toolkit is up here your toolkit in this top shelf right here and the tools on the stands right here are going to be your most commonly used things they're going to be right there at your hand okay now i have two stands installed like i said this is the working on brake station and this is going to be the working on shifting station the white station everything's color coded so you know where it goes back so on these um i have these wing nuts installed and if you uh twist this see this one has a notch right here and if you undo this wing nut you can actually You can undo that and you'll be able to slip the stand out in case you need to, um, you know, adapt to the space. Um, everything that I do, all my programs are very module um, so that I can adapt them to the space. Because I don't have a space that I would say I regularly teach in. I'm very, very mobile. So that's kind of how the stands work. Um, over here, this is just kind of a bucket of cleaning supply solution we got soap we got some wd-40 um bike grease pv blaster hairspray um i went and got uh, magnetic cup holders because i found that um while i'm out here i usually have coffee or water or something with me um this thing is bungeed down for transport but this is our my very very old um like second generation ipad so this will be used hopefully to uh sign people in so i can keep track of my numbers and then maybe be uh available for watching any type of maintenance videos um i have a jet pack that i can uh supply power to but this is also on a swivel so i can move it wherever i please um on that note, we have a solar panel strapped to the roof that's bolted in, and then we have this handy dandy bio light system. So it powers all my lights. There's a light over here. There's lights in all the corners. Um, it can also charge the iPad. It can also charge um, these USB rechargeable fans that I have. Um, it gets very, very hot in here, so that's the point of that. Um, there's also a radio attached to that. But you can see I have full power right there. So that's what that thing is. Um, so like I said, this is the uh, shifting station. Everything's color-coded in white. Um, commonly used tools up above. Um, we have our pump. Everything's kind of bolted to the wall as best as it can, so that's what this is for, for transport. Uh, we have extra bungee cords. Always need those while transporting. Um, this is, again, bungee bound, so the drawers don't come out like that while I'm driving down the road. Um, this thing, we have just more extra parts, so for the most part, 
tools are going to be in this top one all labeled and then parts are going to be in this bottom cabinet all labeled but here's just some extra kind of parts that anyone can use for anything uh we got pedals right here this is just kind of a bin of things that need to be processed i haven't gone through all those tubes make sure they work or anything yet um we got tubes that are greater than or equal to 24 inches and tubes that are uh greater than or or at least 20 inches or less than and then we just have random accessories um over here is a bin that somebody gave to me that's already sorted i just kind of have to put that away as long as well as uh some plastic baggies for actually putting things in um up here we just have extra zip ties office supplies some more rags blinky lights quick guides and these are mostly empty there's some hardware up there and just some other stuff that i need to get rid of um we have our extra tool kits down here and we have our extra bike stands back here um these are some aprons but right here um kind of held on with a holder and a valet strap there are two other stands so if i need to be in a different space i can actually take these move them outside uh i got a broom right here for keeping things tidy you know general purpose um gloves those are really mine um we've built this rack right here it seems to work pretty good for now but we have our smaller tires and wheels here kind of medium sized tires and wheels here and our uh, big 26 inches or above tires and wheels kind of down here um it's just so they don't go rolling everywhere because that is the largest uh i guess in terms of parts that i have those take up a whole lot of space so that's kind of a rack i'm sure this will stretch over time it probably already has but um you know again couldn't find any examples of anyone who had built a bike shop out of a trailer before so we're just kind of making things up um so i have a kind of a card table right here and then on the door over here is going to be our hand washing station um i had built a table in right here but quickly found out that that door cannot support hardly any weight so to create a hand washing station we're just going to move that card table out here and put soap bucket of water on there because Yes, because of COVID, but also because your hands, I've been working on bikes all day today, get very, very dirty. So that's what it is.